Hello everyone. In this recording, I will talk about the absolute dependent motion analysis of two particles. So this one will be the particle A and this one will be particle B. So these two particles are connected with the cord and this cord is inextensible. Okay, so the cord here is inextensible. And then we are trying to find find the velocity of A, the velocity of B, the acceleration of A, and the acceleration of B. Okay, these are the questions that we need to answer. And then to solve these problems, we have the step one that says that choose a fixed datum. So this datum you can see that choose a fixed a uh, reference line. Okay, in most of the cases the pulleys okay often it will be a uh, pulleys, but these pulleys should be fixed. Let me just add it. Okay, and then with this first step, let's start to solve our problem. So for particle A, this will be the coordinate SA, and this is the datum for A. Okay, as you can see, this datum is fixed, and this distance position actually it has an initial point so SA initial location at datum or you can say that the origin and then this is a coordinate axis so this one is coordinate And then similarly for particle B, we need to add this coordinate. Okay, this is the coordinate B. Okay, and then we have one more chord length that I didn't show is this part. This part will be the segment AB. Okay. And then if we write the equations, step two, the equation. The equation will be that SA plus the SAB, the segment AB, plus the SB will be equal to the length of chord okay and then say that step this is step two and then step three is that so you take the derivative with respect to time d of dt so that will be that d of dt of sa plus d of dt of sab plus d of dt of sp is equal to and the length of the chord I can say l and d by dt of l and then as you can see here the segment ab it doesn't change it is always between these two datum points because we said that the datum points are fixed so therefore the time derivative of this segment with respect to, I mean, the, this SAB with respect to time is zero. Total length of the cable is also constant, it is zero, because the cable is not e extensible. So the length is the length as in the initial case. 
and then this one is VA and this one is VB and then VA becomes negative VB okay and which is very obvious because as you can notice if part B moves down the part A moves up or vice versa so therefore the velocity of A is opposite in direction sense to velocity of B or you can take the one more time derivative of VA is negative VB and then from here you'll get the acceleration of A is negative acceleration of B <clears throat> this is the additional step that you can take in the next recording I will solve a simple problem this one is was a very simple case I will just solve a little bit more difficult problem. Thanks for watching.